The bloodbath continues. What's going on with this stock market? Hey traders, John Hal here. And uh, let's have a look at what's happening with the stock market. Because yesterday I actually put out a caution video saying, guys, I don't think this downside is over, not just yet. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get straight into uh, what's going on right now in these markets. Uh, first thing I must start off with guys is that please, 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 I am begging you right now, one, do not be trading based off hope. Do not be trying to capture a falling knife in these markets. It is not worth it. We don't know how long. Like I can, I can come out here and do my little funky donkey, you know, my dance and my 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 thing and so on and so forth. And I can say where I think we're going by the end of the year, which I still do believe. I'm gonna see. I still believe a, we're gonna see a five and a half thousand S and P five hundred. But please, guys. Right now is not the time to just be trying or guessing or let me just buy Netflix right now because it's so low and it can't keep going lower, can it? No, it's only been going down for 12 months. So let me buy it now or all this sort of stuff, right? Or even in the mining sector or even any of these markets, okay? Right now is not the time just to be hoping and wishing and I'm going to get in because I think it's a good idea or I hope it's a good idea. None of that, okay? So the best thing to do is sometimes the best thing to do is just to sit back for a few weeks, sit back for a month, let the market pick up first, okay? So I, I did a, if you're on my list, um, then you would know that I sent an email out to my entire list yesterday with a with a, an important update. Now, if, now if, first, if you actually do need some help with your trading, I'm actually running a, a sale right now to my four top trading systems for only $4. If you go to John's, J-O-H-N-S, flashsale.com, or the very first link in the description, you can actually go get that right now. If you do need help with the actual trading, actual trading systems, all right? John's flashsale.com, for my, my top four trading systems for only $4. Plus there's actually a few bonuses in there as well too, but you'll be able to see all that over there. But I sent an important update to my entire list, which I very rarely do. And I said, guys, I know what's happening right now. There's a lot of people out there coming out saying that we're getting, we're actually getting a bounce, okay? So right now, uh, the, the top row, these top rows is obviously the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and so on and so forth. Um, and and I came out and I talked about because I, I really didn't want my herd, my, my followers to be, I know a lot of people were looking at this and okay, well, it's a double bottom. Here we go, bounce, you know, the market's gonna start to move up. And my YouTube video I did yesterday said caution and then also i sent an email out to my entire list guys saying like if you're thinking about trying to buy the market right now do not try to be buying a falling knife it is not worth it wait for the market to turn around first and that's my that was my little email to my entire list yesterday and again if you're on my list you would know you know you would know that i am i'm, I'm actually i'm actually telling them the truth there so and that's exactly what actually happened today the market got absolutely thumped today, S&P 500 down over three and a half percent, almost getting very, very close to a 4% on the S&P, just thumped. You know, we've got a 2.7 on the Dow. We've got a um, over 4% on the on the NASDAQ. The market has got absolutely thumped. And I still don't believe, I don't believe that selling is over. I still believe we have more downside to come. But if you're trying to flip it on its head, say, okay, John, well, I'm just gonna go short the market. Do you see, no, why? You're gonna go short the market, why? Because you think it's a good idea. If you wanna be a successful trader, like at the end of the day, guys, I can come out and I can do my market updates. Like, here we go, all right? The bottom's in, the top's in, right? That's based off what I think, okay? But when I'm actually trading, when, I, when if you actually wanna be, if you actually wanna have some sort of probability, some sort of odds on your side, of doing really well because the market can go only up and down and when we start to apply some simple analysis you can do quite well from trading right um you know it's so the thing is guys is that the, you, you don't want to be like people go i'm gonna go short now no because you're gonna be trading based off of what you think right we could we could be right at the bottom right now we don't know okay so never trade based off what you think what you hope or what you're fearful of happen always trade based off sets of rules and it doesn't matter what those rules are. You just gotta have something where you're consistently following.
But if one trade you're following is based off, well, I'm going to trade because it's that support. And the next trade, you're going to say, well, I'm going to trade this because it's breaking through resistance. The next trade, I'm going to trade because it's di divergence. There's no, you're not going to do well from that there. So we're getting a very, very big flush down when it comes to the NASDAQ, big support level through there. So we're probably likely to be on our way now down to around the 12,000. We're probably, it's actually really interesting because we have, actually, what's the, let me actually check this here. So <laughs> I'm doing this at 6, 6.50 in the morning, uh, my time. So we have, oh, okay. So we may even spend more time coming down um, in the market until uh, middle of next week. And the reason why I say that is because we've got the Fed announcement. And remember what happened last time? The Fed announcement did the whole, you know, the market dropped, drop, 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 right? And then the Fed announcement came out here, somewhere, one of these two, two days. And then the market rallied. Are we about to get the drop, 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 drop? And then we get the Fed announcement and then we start to rally. Mm -hmm. Right? Interesting. And this is the thing about the markets, guys. Don't fight the markets and definitely don't definitely don't don't try definitely don't don't try and to be catch it, capturing a falling knife. S&P 500 the same sort of thing. If we have a look at the S&P 500, we could be heading looks like we we could be heading back down towards that 4000 uh level on the because that's that when I, where I get that 4000 level is it's just that level of oh there's actually a little bit of support so th Probably there's, there's this sort of confluence of this area through here. So around that 4,000 level. But there is a little bit of support level through here that, that may be coming into play um, when it comes to the S&P 500, as you can see, right? So we're getting this whole level through here. So we're, prob we're probably going to get a bit more follow through tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. I mean, Monday, right? Monday, next week, right? But this is an update for an update. So... You can see what's happening through there now. Um, again, guys, please don't don't try to be don't be trying to capture a falling knife in these markets. It's simply just not worth it. Wait for the market to turn around, okay? Because um, we have we have no idea what's what. Like this actually could be the major top in the markets, and then we're going to start to see the recession, and then we're going to start to see a, a crumbling market. What I'm seeing from a fundamental level, so I don't see how that's going to be possible. Even if we do get more downside to come, I think we're going to just spring to all-time new highs by the end of this year. But that's just what I'm seeing. It's not based off what the market is telling me, okay? Um, I'm seeing from a fundamental level. So the market is continuing to come down through here. Um, and same for the Russell as well too. The Russell has just been continued to, to come down and... and and just, just continue to be on this downward downward slope all through here. So on the Russell though, we have, hmm, so the Russell might be, might be on its way down, down. This is the IWM, the ETF. We might be down to 170 there. Maybe have an hour through to silver and gold. Silver right now, or gold right now, it's still on a downward slope through here. So we may have a bit more downside to come. I wouldn't be too surprised to get just just to get it if, if we're going to see a bit more selling in the markets i wouldn't be too surprised to see gold come down a little bit more um but on on a big picture here guys the big thing i'm seeing right now is this right da, 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 da. let's go through there okay the big thing i'm seeing is as you can see the market actually made this was a high this was a low the market ran up made a higher high so i'm actually expecting somewhere around this 1800 dollar level where it is now to 1800 for it to be a higher low, and then away we go. So even if we do get a little bit more of a pullback, so if I go back to my daily charts now, and if we do get a little, little bit more of a pullback, um, which I actually wouldn't be too surprised because I know I know a lot of people are still interested in gold, um, and I see a lot more upside coming in gold as well too, but on a short term, we may get a shake and bake and shake those weak hands out before we start to see more upside to come. If we go have a look at the actual gold mining stocks, um, we talked about this as well too, is that right now we're just holding through here as well too. So again, I wouldn't be too surprised to see if we got a bit more, bit more downside to come. Now, the really interesting thing is that there could be a reversal pattern building right now. Um, there's a thing called, and I've talked about this in the past. Let me actually take everything off the screen. There's a thing called an island reversal. Okay. And so this actually could be really, really, really powerful in the markets because the big picture the big picture on the weekly charts is this 
All right, I want to I want to build this. The big picture on the weekly charts I see is doing this: move up, move down. We may even have a move down through here, and then I believe we're going to create a higher low here soon. We've already created the higher high, so we've already got the warning sign that we could be in a major trend change. That's that big forest, right? That's the helicopter from the from the you know you're you're in the helicopter and you're going all over the forest, right? Now let's actually parachute into the forest and let's actually check out the snakes. All right, so we're gonna go check out the snakes and see what's actually happening. <laughs> I hate snakes. Um, <laughs> the other day I was going for a walk, <laughs> and then and there was a sign there: caution, be ca be careful of snakes. And then literally about a few minutes later, there was this brown snake. Just I was walking on the path, and then on the gutter there was a snake. There. It's like wow. Um, anyway. There's a thing called an island reversal, right? And this is uh, this is a, a pattern in the market that works really, really, really well. Okay, so we have a what happens is that it happens for bullish end bearers. Okay, so the market runs up do, 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 like this. All right, then we have a bit of a movement from there, and then what happens is the market will gap. It, it, it'll move in a direction, either up or down. In this case, up, and then it'll gap up, and then it might spend one day. But a lot of times, you can see it starts to develop some sideways movement. That's that's. That's what, what we that's what we call a gap up and it creates what? It creates it's called an island reversal because a lot of the times it'll go up, 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 up. It'll create the so-called island, okay? And then what will happen, it'll gap down here and it'll create this gapping motion through here. This whole thing here will be a gap in the markets. See that through there? And then guess what happens? And then we start to see da 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 da. All right. Um, and then it's an isle. It's called an island reversal because what happens is that the market goes up, creates the island, and then it reverses. So, knowing what I've just said there about the gold mining stocks, this is the picture that I'm building from what the market's telling me right now. What could be coming? So we need to anticipate where we could be seeing. All right. Because I'm actually looking to add more into the gold mining sector. I just I think it's just one of the best sectors out there, okay? Now, I'm not saying this is definitely going to happen, we need to wait, but look at this here. Remember I said before about the weekly charts, okay? We had that, that pattern, I just said there a minute ago in the weekly charts. Now, we're gonna go check out, the, check out the forest from the trees. Look what's happened through here. So, this same thing through here, right? Up, 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 island reversal, reversed, and then down. See that there? See that, that was that gap all through there. Market ran up, created the island, Gap down, had the reverse, okay? Look at this through here. Markets come down, 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 down. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's actually do this. I'll do the same color. Markets come down, 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 down. What have we, we had a bit of a gap down. We've created what? We're creating the island right now. We've got the gap all through here, as you can see. That's that gap right there. So if we do, for some reason, you know, we may even do another day like this. We don't know. If for some reason, then we suddenly get a gap up here, and then we start to get a move through there, guess what that is? This is now an island reversal at a at an inflection point, which I'm already expecting to see a higher low here. So you can see I'm taking the this is this is really sort of I'm taking it to the, to the advanced level now. So I'm taking what this big weekly chart's telling me, which is just looking at trend analysis lower high, higher high, I'm expecting a higher low here soon on that weekly chart, and then I'm gonna go into the daily charts, and then this could be the, the turning point, we get that there. Now, again guys, what do we do? We never trade based off what we think, I don't know what's gonna happen, we could just continue down from here. But if we do start to get something like that, that's gonna be a major, major, major turning point um, in the markets, and it happens so much, like even, even in gold, if we ever look at gold, you know, gold's been doing this pattern for for quite some time. Uh, let me see back here. Do, 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 do. Right, here we go here, right? So we have the market up, 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 up. Gaps up, creates the island. Gap down, we have the reversal. Up, 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 up. This is just one day up, and then it had the reversal. Um, you know, so I'm pretty sure there's actually some more in there, wasn't there? Just double checking before I let you funky donkey all the good old fan go. All right, so yeah, that's what's happening there. Good, quick look at silver. Silver, guys, again, silver's just becoming becoming much, much, much stronger than I thought. Um, and it's just, silver's been getting absolutely hammered. There's really, again, if we're looking at the overall, um, the overall picture of what's been happening here with silver, 
This is actually not looking good because we're getting a strong breakout. We do have like a strong significant support level coming through there. But again, <coughs> excuse me. Again, if you've been following me for the last few weeks, you would know that I said I'm waiting for a breakout here because that's going to tell me that the buyers are taking control. And I hope, th and the reason why I did that is because guess what? I'm waiting for the market to tell me that, okay, now the market's likely to go up, right? And because we didn't, I didn't actually buy silver, so I'm not actually in silver. So we can see that that's what's going on right now when it comes to the silver stocks, SILJ, and not really much going on there. And the SIL, just SIL is a bit, SIL, the silver mining sector is a bit of a dog's breakfast. Big breakout of this this triangle pattern through through here, it's squeezing up right, squeezing up and then squeezing up. We got the breakout. Now we have got the movement down. It's looking it's it's not looking too good for the silver mining sector. We really need to get a, a turning point here soon. But the market just continue to bam 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 all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. So there we go, traders. Hope this helps you out. Just the bottom line is traders is. Wait for the market to turn around. Don't try to buy something when it's just falling through the floor like right now, right? Just like what I said with the mining sector. The mining sector, we may get a bounce next week, okay? And if we do, then you may want to look at something from there. If we do start to get the bounce, okay? Um, but it, but the thing is, you never want to capture a falling knife. We don't know how. I don't. I don't know how long that the stock market's gonna got, got to go to, for it to make it uh, before it finds a bottom. I do believe we're gonna find a bottom. But we could spend another month really just slowly going down, and then June through the rest of the through the rest of the second half of this year, we make big moves. Okay, that can happen. It's always possible. Um, so there we go, traders. Once again, traders, if you do need some help with your trading, I've got my top four trading systems. It's really five, but my top four trading systems plus a bonus trading system, and then some other different bonuses in there as well too. So I'm doing that. My top four trading systems, guys, for four dollars. Um, and you're gonna absolutely just love it. So if, guys, if you go to John's, J-O-H-N-S, flash sale.com, John's flash sale.com, very first thing in the description, guys, go get go get access to that those four trading courses for $4. Go through them all, find which one you, you, you actually like and start to use that because guys, once again, you need to be following some set of rules, right? Don't be just, well, I'm gonna buy silver mining stocks right now because I saw a YouTube video and it sounded good. No, wrong. Follow some rules. It doesn't matter what it is, but you need to have some sort of rules when you're entering the market.